CataractCoach.com, intumescent and pressurized cataract. Use of Zepto to create an instant precision capsulotomy. This is a tough case. It's submitted us by Dr. Richard Schultz from Georgia. And in this case, you can see it's a totally white cataract. But it's more than that. It's intumescent or fluid-filled. And we both know that means that the caps or bag is pressurized. The intralenticular pressure is high. So yes, of course, stain with tripan blue dye, which is being done here, and then you need a capsular rexus. Ah, but it's not so easy. Because as you know, the risk of an Argentinian flag sign or a run out of the capsular rexus is very high. So what are you gonna do? We've talked about needle decompression, we've talked about other things, double rexus, maybe femto, those aren't perfect. Take a look at the biometry. Back in June of 2021, three plus nuclear cataract and good measurements were achieved with optical coherence biometry. And you can see lens thickness, the top right of the screen, there's 4.53 millimeters. Now, a little more than a year later, September 2022, intumescent white cataract. But look carefully. Yes, the AC depth got shallower, but the lens thickness increased dramatically. Increased by 40%. Went from 4.5 millimeters thick to almost six and a half millimeters thick. That is a pressurized capsular bag. So now this capsular bag is so highly pressurized that if you try to just stab in with a needle and do a needle decompression, it's going to rip the capsule uncontrollably. And we've shown you videos of this before on Cataract Coach. So what's going to happen here instead is the Zepto device. So making here with a diamond keratoma, temporal incision, certain is sitting superiorly, and you can see, and then still making a temporal incision there. Here comes the Zepto device. And the Zepto device here, it's collapsed, so it can go through a small incision. It's a knit and all ring on the tip, and the eye is full of viscoelastic. You place this inside the eye, and you can center up that rexus wherever you want. So it can go through a small incision, about 2.2 millimeters. So now here, you can fixate the eye a little bit and really get that in the eye. Once it's in the eye, using the finger slider to open that knit and all ring and restore it back to its normal shape. Now this ring will make a capsulotomy that's about 5.2 millimeters in diameter. So centering that up where you want it. So choose that center of the capsule, line up the Purkinje images. Once that's done, you apply some suction to the device and then your technician can do that or use a foot pedal. And now you're secure and you have that strong suction there. You can again, Tell the nurse or you can step on a pedal and deliver a brief pulse of energy. Now, the energy is very minimal. It's actually just four milliseconds. So there's the suction being applied. And now you can see the device is very still. The four millisecond burst is coming up just in a moment. And that will instantly create the rexus, not allowing the run out to happen. There it is, instant. It's done. Just like that. It also sends a little pulse of fluid there around to help actually dissect off any residual cortex. So you can pull that nitinol ring out, get rid of that. And now if you look there, that is a perfectly centered capsulotomy. I mean, look at the Purkinje image, the light reflects in the center of the cornea and how that uh, capsulotomy is beautifully centered. Now we can get that central capsule remnant out of the eye and then take that and we can put it um, on top of the cornea if you want to examine it. But there you go. Now, in a case like this, you got the, the remnant out, there it is, put it on the top of the cornea, and you can see, look at the edge of it. It's actually quite strong. So this device, as it creates that instant precision pulse capsulotomy, you can see it strengthens the edge of that. So the same thing actually happens in the eye on the edge of the anterior capsule rim that's inside the eye. It's stronger than you would expect. So there it is, beautifully done. We can get rid of that. Now, as you know, in a case like this, you really don't need any hydro dissection. That liquefied lens cortex has already done that for you. So let's get rid of that. And then the nucleus removal should be pretty easy. Nucleus removal at this point is going to come out quickly and easily. And you put the phaco probe in. So, you know, the hardest part of this whole case really was the rexus. And, you know, you do a couple of cases like this and you realize that, yeah, you can have a beautiful rexus every time without having to worry about that risk of the capsule run out or the Argentinian flag sign. You know, this is also a great technique and a great instrument for use in a more routine case. Because if you're just starting off and having trouble making that perfect rexus every time, 
Well, this just does it for you. And so now going in with the phaco probe, kind of spatula in the other hand, video spread up here a little bit, groove down the middle, this thing can be cracked and split apart, and then the nucleus removal will happen pretty quickly. You know, as I always say, these white cataracts are my favorite because it's the most miraculous result for the patient. This is the closest thing we have to a modern miracle of medicine because you can get a patient who's literally blind, like this patient, and in the course of just a very brief surgery, you can restore excellent vision, even 20-20 vision to this patient. And that really is just magnificent. So here, very quick removal. Obviously, the video sped up here a little bit. And then what I want to show at the end, though, is when the lens goes in the eye, how beautifully centered it is and how you have a great overlap of the optic by that capsulotomy for 360 degrees. And so here comes the lens going inside the eye, being delivered quite nicely, really not much cortex in this eye at all. Taking out the viscoelastic here, plus you can clean up any residual little cortex material. And then at the end here, let's zoom in, I'll show you, this is really quite beautiful in terms of centration. And so, if you are starting off and having trouble with a routine case, I think you'd be very happy with this device. I've used it extensively over the course of many years. And I do offer this to my patients in cases where it really is of benefit. You've seen me operate before for the same type of intumescent white cataracts. Look at that rexus overlap. Beautiful. 5.2 millimeter capsular opening, 6 millimeter optic. Again, that's holding it perfectly in position. This patient's going to have a really beautiful outcome. And the nice part here is you also achieve long-term stability. That's a very strong result. And you can see here in the inset, even after a month, it looks fantastic. looks just about the same. And you've ensured great long-term stability. So I encourage you, if you haven't tried the device before, please check it out. The Zepto device. This is a promoter video, and I am a paid consultant for this company. But I actually still do use this device in my own clinic, in my own patients, all the time. I think it's a really wonderful device that you will enjoy using. Thanks for watching.